All right guys, what's up? It's Amanda here and we're back for another video. Now, a lot of you guys might have noticed this or some of you might not have noticed this at all and a lot of you might not have any idea who this kid is, but last night or like early this morning or something, uh, Derv's channel got terminated. Now, I don't actually have a lot of experience with Derv. One of my friends, Dan, has kind of, kind of kept up on the, uh, the, uh, the legend of Derv and has just kind of been filling me and a couple of our friends in as it's been going. I've seen a couple things, but for the most part, I had been able to completely avoid this kid until one of his, I'm gonna say it was a stupid video, started getting recommended in my YouTube feed, even though I don't watch anything remotely similar to his channel, I don't watch anything similar to his content, and that was probably one of the first times I was like, YouTube, what the hell is wrong with your recommended section? For those of you wondering, the video was, I slap myself 10,000 times in the face or something, and he's just got like, it's like a fake red handprint on his face, and. I've never, I've never been more offended to see something on my recommended channel. Just ever. Ever. But for the most part, I tried not to shit talk this kid. If you guys have no real familiarity with him, he basically blew up from doing these kind of stupid videos and clickbait videos, and then I guess more recently has significantly blown up by doing fake giveaways. You know, the kind of stuff that in the title, it's all like, oh my God, fresh free giveaway gift cards, fresh free gift cards, all in, in the titles so that you click on it. And he was the kind of kid that was like live streaming himself, hit a million subs, but not in an exciting way, not in a way where he was like talking to people and, and, and like interacting. He was literally just sitting there like watching the numbers go up, not interacting with anybody. Like, it's like one of those kids. He's openly admitted that he's all, he's just in this for the money and that he, you know, anything he can do to make a buck, I get it. Whatever, man, everybody's got their own hustle. I'm sure there's tons of people out there that if they knew the exact formula of how to do what this kid did to get to like 1.4 million subscribers, they would do it in a heartbeat. But I just wanna talk about today because he did get his channel terminated and it says it's for violating community guidelines. Now he's trying to say that it's not because of misleading. And a lot of people were like, well, you know, you've been doing all these fake giveaways lately. Like it's probably because you were misleading your viewers, but he's trying to say that that's not why. But I can't really think of the other reasons as to why it would have happened other than maybe clickbait, which would also tie into misleading. The only way that people's channels can really be terminated for clickbait is if it's like so misleading to, to people that YouTube's like, yeah, this is ridiculous. And honestly, most of the stuff that he uploads is kind of like that. Uh, the really big one that me and my friends are always make fun of is he uploaded this video, it's called like, I called the boss baby, oh my God, he answered. When in reality, he like called his brother in the next room who is neither a boss nor a baby from my understanding. So it's like one of those things. He's one of those kids and like, it turned into a meme. People followed him for the meme, subbed to him for the meme, and it's definitely clickbait. So I'm not 100% sure on the reasons why it was terminated, but I, I'm definitely guessing it has to do with the giveaways. I feel like that's the one thing that YouTube really, really cracks down on. Clickbait titles in general are so, it, like I said, you, there are so many loopholes in clickbait titles that it's really hard to say, yeah, that's why, but misleading is pretty, is pretty standard. If you say, I'm gonna give away, I'm giving something away in every single video and you never get some, give something away, that's misleading and yeah, you're definitely, if, it, if everything is all like, yeah, you gotta sub to the channel, share the video, leave a comment down below, leave a like, and then you're entered to win it, but then nobody ever actually wins a gift card, that's misleading and it's misleading for the specific intent of personal gain. And a lot of channels have gotten in trouble for this in the past, but lately it's been getting a lot worse. I don't even wanna specifically just talk about this derf kid because like I said, I don't wish ill on people. People have asked me to make videos about him before because he's an idiot. <laughs> But he's also, he's like a 14 year old kid. He's on YouTube. He's exploded massively. Like, sure, I might think the kid's a twat, a little bit of a twat, but he's also a 14 year old kid making a bunch of money on the internet. Like, I'm gonna give him, I'm not gonna go after a little kid. I just wanna talk about, you know, the reasons that might have gone in to him losing his channel. And honestly, if it is because he was doing fake giveaways, I totally agree with it. You shouldn't, your channel should be terminated if you're getting people to sub to your channel by promising free shit and then you're not delivering it. You definitely deserve to have your channel terminated. That's my opinion. And yeah, it's pretty pretty standard stuff, pretty standard stuff. But I really wanted to talk about that because I've been noticing it a lot lately. There's some other idiot and I know exactly who he is, but I can't remember his name right now. Nuda went after him a few weeks ago, but he was basically, he was live streaming, saying that he was giving away fidget spinners, but it, all the live stream was on YouTube was just, it was like a picture of all the instructions, which was like, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, make sure you're following all of this different stuff, and then you're entered to win a fidget spinner, and then anybody who did that was gonna get a fidget spinner. And obviously, no, and then Nuda called him out on it, and he was all like, where are these fidget spinners? And he bought like one fidget spinner on eBay just to be like, absolutely, I'm, I'll prove that I'm buying hundreds of fidget, fidget spinners for people. You're not buying hundreds of fidget spinners for people at like $7.99 a pop. 
you twat. You know, I've personally never done any stream giveaways. I've considered it once I hit like certain milestones, like doing G Fuel giveaways and stuff like that. And I've done G Fuel giveaways on my YouTube channel and I don't really have a problem with them. Like, yeah, some people definitely try to build their viewers by always being like every week, it's like a new giveaway every single week to bring in new viewers, but like whatever, if that's what you want to try to do to build your fan base, that's cool. Um, like I said, I don't have a problem with it, especially if you're actually streaming. Like if you're actually doing something, interacting with people, that's totally okay. But just to have your stream open when you're probably not even paying attention to it, just with all these instructions to like sub and follow so that you can win things that you're probably never gonna actually win. That is stupid and your channel should definitely be terminated for that. That is like, how can that, I don't understand how, like that would not fly on Twitch. Twitch would never let that happen. That is another reason why I really am not a fan of YouTube as a streaming platform because Twitch, if somebody noticed that, like pretty quickly, the whole, the channel wouldn't, probably wouldn't be shut down. You'd probably get a suspension. It would be like, okay, look, you know, here's your warning. But YouTube doesn't even do that, which is my real issue because some of this, it's, it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Cause then, but then at the same time, you're just getting arbitrary subs and follows, especially the guy with the, that stream. That's like Derv was, was pulling in mad bank. I guess that's what's confusing me about Derv right now is that he's at such a big, well, he was at such a big stage and he had a genuine loyal fan base. Like a lot of kids genuinely liked his content that I don't re really know why he felt the need to keep doing the fake giveaways. Uh, at some point he could try saying it was for memes, but it, it's definitely, it's definitely not for memes. It's not like one of those things where you're like, yeah, if you subscribe, I'll, I'm gonna give you a, a life-size uh, clone of Chris Pratt. You know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm referencing, but you know, like that, that's one thing that it's very clearly not true, but like when you, when it's right in the title being like, click this link to win a free gift card, like, come on. But again, this just kind of comes down to like, just weird things that YouTube lets slide. And I get it, it's such a big website, it's hard to catch people constantly, but I just feel like there's a lot of people who get a free pass on some of this kind of stuff, or they just let it go on for way too long. But then at the same time, like, I, I don't know, if this kid gets his channel back, I wonder if we're ever gonna get the actual reason, if he'll openly admit it. Um, somebody will probably figure out what it was. Somebody's probably gonna get, like, the YouTube letter um, that's happened before. Uh, I feel like we will figure out one way or the other by the end of this, the exact reason why his channel was terminated. But I have to say that I'm, my guess is that it has to do with misleading and like fake giveaways. Like that's the only thing that I can think of that YouTube would have to be like, okay, yeah, this, this violates so many different regulations and laws because you know, YouTube's really cracking down on that. And like, as a creator, you have to be very, very, very open in disclosing when something was given to you, like this chair, was given to me to review. Like I had to say that when I did the review, just different things like that. Because obviously that lets people know that it, there's a chance that the review isn't unbiased. There's a chance that you are being paid to say something or being paid not to say bad things or that you're less likely to say bad things because somebody gave it to you for free. And basically any kind of business transaction like that, there has to be that honesty between the creator and the viewer. So I think that it probably most likely has to do with that because like fraud is a very big issue and YouTube can't be seen as uh, playing along with that if you know what I mean. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think that his channel deserved to be terminated? Like I said, I'm not trying to like shit talk the kid or anything. I just, you know, he's, He's doing his thing, it's working for him. Well, you know, for the most part, I don't really know what he's gonna do from this point on. I'm gonna be interested to see if his channel gets reinstated. I honestly think it probably will. Based on how big he is, he's in the network, there's a really good chance it'll be reinstated. It might take a week or so, maybe a little bit more, but I honestly, I don't think this is gonna like hold him down long term. Maybe I'm wrong. If it does hold him down, he has to start over. He'll probably not get back to where he was. He'll probably get a few hundred thousand like right away is my guess if he does start a new channel, but getting back to that 1.4 million, I think that's gonna be a tough sell. But let me know what you guys think down below if you think that his channel was like worthy of being, you know, terminated. If you guys have seen any of these weird giveaway type things, especially the streams. The streaming thing is the thing that weirds me out the most is that it like looks like, wow, this guy streamed so many hours this week, but he's it's just like a blank screen pulling in arbitrary viewers giving away fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. Again, no problem with fidget spinners either. I just thought it was weird. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later.